This is 9.30 in the morning in not so sunny Canberra. <laughs> it's freezing. It was foggy this morning and I think it's how many degrees that it says? Five degrees or something like that at the moment. But it feels like it's only one degree. It's freezing, I tell you. Anyway, I'm inching my way over here because I want to see this beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous spot that I forgot and now remembered today. So I thought I better go check up on this one. This is mostly Lowy. Don't drop it. Hang on. I'm about to drop it. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Aha. Now, I put you back here and let's go check out or inspect what the rest of the gangs are doing here. These are my little Ioniums that I place in this little protected area. It's still out in the open because I'm outside, see? There's no covering for them. Well, at least the top there is, but it's still sort of exposed. So it's out in the cold, freezing its butt off. Now this Ionium, Logan, was up the top here before and i thought i better put it down here because just in case the frost will get to it so it's now forecast no frost for the next four days well actually no frost but i suspect when they say it's one degree celsius then it might have a chance of going to zero and when it goes to zero we might have the arctic blast again and it might end up freezing them so now i'm going to move this here a little bit it's still sort of down in the shelf but this Clasula, uh, what do you call this, Andulata, are you? No, it's Ripple Jade. It is on uh, Andulata, there you go. It's Arborescent Subspecies Andulatifolia. Okay, how do I know these names? Because it's got a label, or else I wouldn't remember that. I know it's Andulata, I just, you know, generalized. And, hang on, I saw my fiesta. There you go, fiesta. I was going to sing all night long, but never. <laughs> the fiesta there is a cutting because I broke it off from the top here and I just plonk. Oh, it's taking root. Oh, how exciting. I plonk it there before and now, ah, oh, yes, look. So I broke it off from the top because it got too leggy and the stem has sort of dried up. And then now I just cut it, plonk it there and it would be probably, you know, six weeks ago when I did that. And then now it's alive, it's alive. So exciting. Anyway, I like it when they live. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful this Ordea crested. Can you see that? I have never ever seen a crested Ordea until this. And that's the reason why I bought this. But when I bought this a few months ago, let's go inspect to see. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's grown. I'm happy that you've grown, even though you haven't been watered. I have to remove that, uh, whatever. Hang on, I'll, I need to. Now don't break it, don't break it. Come here. Got a label here. Ah, there you go. Uh, or oh, Astapelia orbea crested. No specific name, just a general uh, species of just orbea. My poor Grenovia is all dried up. I need to water you. See, I'm gonna give you a drink, which reminds me, I think it's time to water some of this Ionium. This is Big Bang, I'm guessing. Yes, it is that needs watering and this big bang as well i can see that there's only one that's left that has variegated or variegation the rest of it has reverted back to normal i think that's mardi gras here which is or inferno <laughs> never mind uh, not important but anyway one of those two but that is flowering so what we'll do we'll break this off if i can there you go i can because i can now I have to find a bin. I have bin <laughs> over there. You go, there's the bin. And ah, Ionium over here. I took it out because it was raining the other day. And then I thought I might as well water it. But they don't look very happy. Now I'm, I need to compare this actually with the other ones here. This is a different, this is only Sisha Ferry. But the condition of the Ionium being over there compared to being in this mini greenhouse that I've got here. So you can see that one is sort of scarred and frozen and cold and shivering, I'm sure still. But the ones in here, look at that. The, they are actually faring much better in here, especially that pink witch at the back there, because my pink witch on the other side 
are not very happy at all. And this one, fireworks. Baby, you're a fireworks. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm not going to sing or else YouTube's going to flag my video. And I can't monetize it, didn't it? Because this is my only source of income right now. YouTube. Now we go here. <laughs> and then I can't buy succulents anymore. And then I can't make these videos for you. So these ones, yep, they're all looking much healthier over here than the other side. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. I love, love, love Ionium. Oh yes, over here. Yes, hello beautiful. How are you beautiful? You're alive. So what is your name? Something, Balsimi, whatever. Oh, Balsimi flora, Balsifolium. It's Barbatum. <laughs> This would be <laughs> so Barbatum. I still don't know her very much because she's only new October 23. There you go. So summertime and they're supposed to go dormant in summer. So now it's just starting to grow, but it's too cold for growing. So spring is when this is going to sprung out and be beautiful. So now I know that it's doing fine in here. So I'm going to move this one here. And then I can expose you with that other one. Hang on, I'll just fix this. Sometimes I'm a little bit OCD. X, Y, Z. There you go. I just want you to show your beautiful face. I don't want you to hide. See? And then this one can now go in there. Ah, oh, isn't that much better? I've got a thermometer there. And inside, my computer says it's 5 degrees Celsius. But in here, I can only see. Hang on about three degrees that is cold that's why it's probably around uh quarter to ten now oh hello fatso or oh, this one uh, what is your name i know your name <laughs> cotyledon cotyledon uh the second name i forgot but anyway uh, variety but this once upon a time shown this beautiful flower it flowered and it was the most beautiful thing but right now uh, she's ac actually probably stress traumatized, but it's growing. It's their growing season. They normally grow in autumn, and winter is sort of struggle time. And spring is when this will come alive again, only to go uh, night night again or sleep during summer. But I've had this plant for a while now. I think, sorry, this one is new. The other one, I can't, oh, it's behind me. Sorry, the wrong one. So, but it's the same plant. There you go. So that one there, oh, that is just gorgeous when it's flowering. But anyway, I'll insert a photo of what it looks like when it's flowering, because it's just so beautiful. I'm just showing you this little wire mesh that I made to use as feet for these pots. Because see this pot here, this is, was something that didn't have hole and I put a hole in it. And then now that I've used it, transformed, not used it. Just use is such a use word. Better to say transform, something positive. Turn it into something else useful. Anyway, uh, I need to have a space between the bottom of the pot and the shelf so that air can circulate because if there's no air circulation, what happens is that plant is going to rot and the soil is not going to dry, especially in winter right now that everything is sort of cold and damp and wet and uh, fungi. <laughs> Lots of fungi is going to show up and that's a problem because we do have wind but it's like cold wind so the plant doesn't really have time to dry up so they've been uh, left saturated and wet for many days now because the sun hardly comes out. Oh, okay. I think I have killed this one. I did not. The frost did. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there see what happens because the one I had before, the variegated one, has survived winter, past winters. But this year, I think it's dead. I think I saw it somewhere on my way out there. This beautiful creature here is called Echeveria agita rose. Look how beautiful that is. Now, this is one of my first agita that I bought. It's so beautiful that I decided to buy some more. And they were equally beautiful, and I planted them in a bigger pot. This bigger pot here, what happened is, when I bought it last summer, it did not have time to adjust to our 
weather condition here in Canberra. So you can see the two plants. So that one here is grown outside. I left it outside. And this one has been sitting inside for the last six weeks. And what happened? <laughs> Look, it's gone white. So this is a variegated plant, but you can see from here, the variegation is much better compared to that one there that is just so pale. And this is what happens when you grow succulent indoors. As much as I would like to grow succulent indoors, I can't because of this scenario. See, look, that's uh, prettier than the other one here, but that one, look. Oh, poor thing. Oh, mom has been torturing you again. Anyway, because I was meaning to clean this, but still I didn't get around to doing it because busy working on a few videos between, I think, four channels. <laughs> oh my God. So I've got Growing Succulents, which is this one you're watching. And the other one is Wall and Liz. I have to do a tribute video. And that was really hard. But anyway, also on my Liz Create channel, I have to do a couple of uh, videos there and one tribute as well so and also Pedro's uh, channel so that's why I haven't got time to work on the garden plus the weather is not suitable for working on the garden or in the garden and anyway also I have lots of visitors lots of phone calls I'm not gonna say that they're disturbing me but still that sort of stops me from uh, having time to uh, work in the garden plus working in the garden right now it's not conducive for working in the garden how many times did I have to say working in the garden anyway guys that's all I've got for this video I thought I'll just do a little quick uh, update chinwag with you <laughs> because I haven't been doing my chinwag lately and I was gonna do a video up the front but some people are working on our uh, communication line because the uh, what do you call that the main um, what do you call that thing anyway yeah I'll just show you oh I was so eager to show you but they left so they were quick so they actually just installed some cables in here there you go so they open it up and ransack that through <laughs> which is actually really good and that pot was already broken so they didn't break that I already put a broken pot there but uh, I now have to make sure I leave an open area for this for them to work on or have access to basically in the future so apparently they're upgrading our telecommunication system and so now which is really good now I can get in here now that someone else has stepped on it, I can't blame myself for killing my plants, but oh look, I've got my little succulent in there that I haven't looked after for a long time. I now have to quickly swoosh around. <laughs> I think this is Copper Canyon or something like that. But anyway, this plant here hasn't been looked after, but it's still alive after about six years. You've been there? Anyway, guys. As I wriggle my way out of here, I'm going to say goodbye, goodbye. This tree actually grows to 25 meters. <laughs> what was I thinking when I planted this here? Well, I was rebelling against hubby because he didn't want any fruit trees. So now I put a big fruit tree there because I always think that I could chop it down if it gets too big. So that's already a long time it's been there. Eight years, yep. Eight years that I, since I planted that and it's still small. So what are they talking about 25 meters? It's only about three meters tall at the most. Anyway, oh, hello, Plicatilis. Hello, Plicatilis, look at you, fan hello, look at that. Still alive, a little bit burned from the frost, but it's still okay. Now also, a lot of things I have to do here. See, a lot of succulents being covered there by this little bushy thing here. So I have to give this a trim. That way I can expose that. But I'm not doing it now because I just touched that and it's wet and my hands freeze up. So it's cold, cold. Anyway, guys, I've got some watering to do. So I'm going to say goodbye again for the third time now. And I already got a scaffold to clean that up. So 
I'm not gonna tackle that in the next uh, couple of weeks. I'll leave it till the sun comes out. <laughs> anyway, this one's now. They're all really, really dry. I feel sorry for these things, but I need to water them. Anyway, bye for now, my lovelies. I will see you on the next video. I just give it a little bit and also this one's here that's just really dry so even though they're asleep right now I'm giving them water because if I don't they will die Pedro's eating the salt from the pork crackle I have to eat some Pedro look It's freezing outside, so we thought we'd have some microwave pork crackle. Mm. Even a budgie loves it. <laughs>